Ever wondered how to build an app with AI? What if I told you it's as easy as writing a prompt? Follow this Base44 tutorial and build one today. Let's start by comparing Base44 plans and choosing the one that fits us best. But first, I've got to give them credit for how clearly they lay out the information, answering the kinds of questions people naturally have right from the start. To see the exact pricing, click the link below. It will lead you to the landing page and from there, go to pricing. As you can see, there are five plans in total. Yes, it's not entirely what you would call a free AI app builder, but Base44 does offer a free plan. It's great for testing out the platform, though its main downside is that it doesn't include a domain or allow in-app code edits. So for serious app building, I'd recommend going with one of the premium plans. When choosing between them, I recommend taking into consideration two things. First, starting with the builder plan, you'll get back in support, which means your app can save and sync data. Without it, everything you build stays local and disappears once the session ends. In other words, an app created with the starter plan can only be used for simple personal or temporary tasks where saving data long term isn't essential. Tools like calculators, idea dumpers, timers, or quick prototypes fit perfectly into that category. Second, the credits you get with each plan. We'll dig deeper into that later, but for now, all you need to know is that the more credits you have, the more tasks you can perform each month. That said, I think the Builder Plan offers everything most users will ever need. Since I chose to use it for this Base44 tutorial, I can confirm that even after extensively testing the platform, I was nowhere near running out of credits. And now you know which plan fits you best. Scan this QR code or use the links in the description to get the best pricing and go build an app with AI. These days, I need something to help me organize my thoughts, so I'll go with building a productivity app. There are a few ways to start. I can write my own prompt from scratch, pick one from the built-in library, or use a guide to help shape my idea. I can also choose a ready-made template to make the start easier and get some structure right away. If I wanna give it more context, I can click the little plus icon and upload files or images from my device to help the AI better understand my vision. It seems that Base44 slogan, if you can describe it, you can build it, really hits the nail on the head. The hardest part of using any no-code app builder isn't the tool itself. It's figuring out what you actually need and putting it into clear prompts. Let's hope I can pull that off successfully. As you can see, I tapped in how I imagine my productivity app should work. Now, it will only take a few minutes for Base44 to automatically build my app's interface and backend. It's nice that the preview updates instantly as the app is being created. After it's generated, the next step is to tweak the design and give it a personal touch. I noticed that by default, most of the generated apps use a very similar color palette. So it's worth adjusting it to better match your style or your user's needs. You can use the visual editor to manually tweak colors, fonts, text, and layout. Or you could request updates and improvements conversationally through AI chat. In my experience, many templates share the same color similarity. So if you're using one, I recommend customizing it as well to make it feel more unique and stand out. It's also a good moment to review everything carefully and make small adjustments if something doesn't quite match what you had in mind. Click discuss mode at the bottom right corner of AI chat. Here you can review or design complex logic, ensure the AI understands your goals, validate app behaviors, or explore alternative ideas before applying changes. As you start learning how to make an app with AI, you understand that it's rare for the first generated version to be perfect. So these quick refinements make a difference before you move on to the next step. To see if Base44 can be considered the best AI app builder, we need to test the app we built. I'll do that by interacting with the preview mode, which simulates a real user experience. Here's how it would look on mobile, and here's how it would look on desktop. Well, it seems that all the key features I wanted are here. A simple idea dump button and automatic categorization of my thoughts into groups. I like how the AI refines them into clear tasks. I can already see how this saves time since I don't need to group my ideas manually anymore. Once you're confident with your app, you can launch it. There are two ways to do that. One is by clicking the share icon to generate a private access link. And the other is by clicking the publish button, which makes your app publicly accessible. No extra setup is needed since Base44 handles hosting and deployment automatically. At this point, I feel the app I built is polished enough. So I'll go ahead and publish it. And basically that's it. I just made a functioning app. Seems simple enough to try making one yourself, right? Don't overthink it. Hit the link below, grab a great deal and give it a go. Oh, and don't forget to share in the comments how it went. I'm curious to hear about your experience. Actually, there's one more important thing we have to cover in this Base44 tutorial. 
the credit system that Base44 operates on. It's tied to the complexity and usage of the app you're building. There are two main types of credits you need to know about, message and integration. Message credits are used when you send prompts or instructions to Base44's AI, asking it to create something, edit something, or figure something out. For example, when you ask the AI to create a new feature or debug a flow, your monthly message credits determine how many of these requests you can make. Integration credits are used when you or someone using your app performs an action that requires Base44 to connect to external tools or services, like generating an image, querying a database, or sending an email. A few examples include calling an LLM like GPT, uploading, downloading, or analyzing a file, and generating or understanding an image, among others. As I mentioned before, when choosing the best fit plan from the five that Base44 offers, start by estimating how many credits you'll need. I hope that after watching this Base44 AI tutorial, you learned how to build an app with AI. It honestly surprised me how easy it was to make one. Of course, it took a bit of effort to clearly express my needs and some time to polish the features, but the result was definitely worth it. If you like this Base44 review and want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Also, don't forget to check out the discount offers by clicking the link below. Till next time.